consider circular disc which is pivoted at center O and it is rotating in clockwise direction or clockwise sense. In other words, we can say there are two links. Fixed link is one link and the other link or second link is circular disc. There is turning pair between fixed link and circular disc. Consider point E on the periphery of the disc. We are interested in velocity at point A. Velocity at point A will be tangential to the circular path traced by E and it will be in direction as shown on the screen. That direction is dependent on sense of rotation of the disc. If we will join O with A, then we will have radius OA or normal at point A, which will be perpendicular to VA. As VA is along tangent at point A. Let us say OA is denoted by R, that is radius of disk. Velocity is rate of change of displacement with respect to time. Let us say during time delta t, A will move from A to A dash and it will trace arc A A dash. Hence, velocity at point A, VA, will be equal to arc A A dash, that is displacement, divided by time delta t. We know theta is equal to arc upon radius. Hence, arc will be equal to theta into radius. Here, angle subtended by arc A A dash at center O is delta theta. Hence, for arc A A dash, we can write arc A A dash equal to R into delta theta. We want velocity at point A. Hence, here we will have delta T tends to 0. Due to that, delta theta will also tend to 0. Instead of delta theta upon delta t, we can write d theta upon dt that is differentiation of theta with respect to time t or we can say derivative of theta with respect to time t and d theta upon dt will be equal to omega that is angular velocity of the disk because angular velocity is rate of change of angular displacement with respect to time. For VA, we will have relation VA is equal to R omega. Hence, velocity at point A is given by relation VA is equal to R omega or we can say VA is equal to OA into omega and VA is perpendicular to radius or VA is perpendicular to OA and omega is angular velocity of the disk. Similarly, for another point B on disk, velocity at point B, VB, will be equal to OB into omega and it will be perpendicular to OB in the direction shown in figure. Now once again quickly we will go through what we have seen. For VA we can write VA is equal to OA into omega. So we will get relation VA upon OA is equal to omega. Let us say this is equation number 1. For VB we can write VB is equal to OB into omega. So we will get relation VB upon OB is equal to omega. Let us say this is equation number 2. We can equate equation 1 and 2 as RHS is the same. So we can write VA upon OA is equal to VB upon OB which is equal to omega which is equal to constant. So we will get relation VA upon OA is equal to VB upon OB which is equal to constant. Thus we can say 
velocity at point a and b is directly proportional to distance of respective point a or b from center of rotation of the disc o that is va is directly proportional to oa and vb is directly proportional to ob va is perpendicular to oa and vb is perpendicular to ob now consider point c on the disc velocity at point c will be perpendicular to oc in the direction shown in the figure as disc is rotating in clockwise sense and for velocity at point c we can write relation vc is equal to oc into omega